Last week was a difficult week for stocks. Reacting to delayed stimulus, little good news on COVID-19 treatment, and jobless claims. Life is too short to worry about what the next headline could do to your life savings. Hi, my name is Eric Hagan and I keep my thumb on the pulse of the economy and the markets so my clients can focus on the things that are actually important to them. Thank you for joining me the next few minutes on today's weekly economic video update. Stocks treaded water last week amid fading prospects for a stimulus bill, fears of a second wave of COVID-19 cases, and increasing political and regulatory pressures on big tech companies. The Dow Jones Industrials Average added just 0.07%, while the Standard & Poor's 500 eked out a gain of 0.19%. The NASDAQ Composite Index picked up 0.79% for the week. And the MSCI EFI index, which tracks developed overseas stock markets, slid 2.08%. The stock market began the week by posting strong gains on hopes of a fiscal stimulus bill. Also, investors were optimistic that earnings season would reflect an improving picture of corporate performance. But stocks stumbled midweek on a mixed bag of early earnings results in an increase in COVID-19 cases in the US and Europe. Disappointing news on some key COVID-19 treatment trials also weighed on the market, as did a jump in new jobless claims and a continued stalemate on a fiscal stimulus package. Stocks attempted to rally on Friday, emboldened by strong retail sales, but lost momentum as trading came to a close. Earnings season began on an upbeat note as major banks mostly beat revenue and profit expectations. Banks attributed the strength to rising consumer deposits, a drop in the amount of money set aside for failing loans, and strong results from their investment banking and trading units. Airlines fared less well. Investors were disappointed with the quarterly reports, even though the average daily cash burn at these companies generally improved. Airline management uniformly accompanied their earnings announcements with warnings of continued near-term weakness due to COVID-19. Hey, this is Eric again. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. To learn how I give my clients life savings the attention it deserves, visit me online at www.erichagan.pro. If you'd like to get financially organized, go check out nocostfinancialdashboard.com. And lastly, if you'd like to take control of your 401k at work, visit us over at 401kinvestmentpros.com. Thank you again for your time today. I'll look for you next week.